Jerry Jambalaya here, and today I'm going to show you how to install XNVSE. As a brief rundown, the original version of NVSE is quite old, the core framework dates back to 2015, and it's seen better days. A new team stepped in and got permission to update it, and their version is called XNVSE, and note that it's version 6. The old version was version 5, and had been sitting there for quite some time. So now that you have the history of it, you go to GitHub, the links are in the description as always, and you scroll down to here, where you see NVSE 603.7 zip. It'll be whatever file version is most recent. Click that and you might get this. It'll say that this file is not commonly downloaded, it may be dangerous, hit the caret and click keep. Now remove your browser from existence and open up your downloads. And you see that I have it here, here, and here, not in the pressure cooker. So let me delete these. It's all the same, it doesn't matter. This is NVSE 603 and you'll use whatever extraction tool you like. In this case, I prefer 7-zip, you can use WinRAR, you can use a hammer. Extract files, hit OK, and you'll be greeted with this siren. So you see this crap, this wonderful trash? Highlight all of it, hit copy, and now you are going to navigate to where your New Vegas is hiding. So in this case, it's on the D drive, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Steam China, what's that? I gotta delete that. <laughs> well, Steam Apps Common. And then uh, go to Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> and then uh, hit Paste. It says Destination has same files. The reason it says that is because I've installed it a thousand times. Note that if you are using the old version of NVSE, there may still be some overwrites, but it's just a simple copy-paste. It'll work just fine. You don't have to delete anything or rummage through files. It'll be a simple overwrite. So once that's done, you can close that and open your mod manager of choice. In this case, I prefer Mod Organizer 2, which unfortunately has the icon of the Disney Channel. So you go into this and note that I'm running Tale of Two Wastelands. The reason I'm running Tale to Wastelands is because this is based off the main game EXE, not the NVSE loader EXE, because I have the 4GB patcher. If you do not have the 4GB patcher, you would run NVSE. If you have the 4GB patcher, you run either Fallout New Vegas or Tale of Two Wastelands, depending on what you have installed. I recommend that you get the 4GB patcher, and if you all want, I can make a tutorial to have 4GB as well as XNVSE just in one place, but we'll see how that goes. So once you've selected the proper version, you run the game. On screen, I'll show you what it looks like in-game. You go to the main menu, or in-game, you press the tilde key, it's the key right below your escape key, and then you type in get NVSE version, and you hit enter. Note that get NVSE versions, all lowercase and no spaces, and it should say NVSE version 6 in this case. Who knows, maybe in a couple years it'll be version 7. So, once you've done that, you have confirmed that NVSE is indeed installed, and you can go about enjoying all the delicious mods. XNVSE is compatible with all previous versions of NVSE, mods that require NVSE, and as a result, XNVSE is a total replacement. Everything will work, and not only that, it'll probably perform a little bit better. So, that's that, and if you have issues, if you run the game and it doesn't work properly, try these first. Verify Steam Cache, and also, if you have more issues, try deleting NVSE, and then re-downloading it, and copy-pasting it over again, and then trying. Generally, verifying Steam Cache seems to fix about 90% of the issues, but if you have issues further, like some weird things with MSCP or whatever it's called, I've seen lots of weird issues with New Vegas, then feel free to put a comment in the, the comment section below and I'll take a look at it. It usually takes me about a day to get to the comment, but I do read all of them. So that should be all, and have fun with New Vegas.